everybody welcome back to my channel today the recipe that I'm going to share with you all is how I make churros this is a little Mexican pastry that you can sometimes fill with caramel or some type of jelly filling or dip them into some warm chocolate they're real easy to make easy to prepare ahead of time now with the Thanksgiving holiday coming up that you know your stove and oven is full you want something ready to go but that's warm and tasty and this is the recipe it is a great make ahead recipe I will take you up to the point where you freeze them and then you can fry them up when you need them and everybody will have some warm dessert that tastes great if you are new here welcome my name is Laura if you enjoy the content I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. If you have any questions about the recipe, leave them in the comments below and I will get back with you. Don't forget to share our videos with family and friends. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to start the dough for the churros, here I have a small pot. It's already on. I'm going to add my water. I am going to add the butter. the brown sugar and the salt. We're gonna let this melt and come up to a boil before we add the flour. Okay, this is to the boil point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn down the heat real low and we're gonna add in our flour and our vanilla. And we're gonna start to mix this slowly. Try not to splatter yourself. It's going to look a little clumpy at first, but just keep stirring and it will come together. Okay, now that it's come together like this, we're going to turn off the heat and just keep mixing until all the flour is incorporated. Okay, and it's going to look just like that. I'm going to transfer this over to the big mixer, to the stand mixer. You can do this next step by hand if you want to. It's just a little bit of a struggle because it, the, the flour gets real thick. Okay, I'm going to transfer you over. Now I'm going to transfer the dough into the mixer. It's still very hot. Okay, we're going to turn this on and you're going to see the steam come up. It's going to cool down the dough. Okay, now we are going to add the egg and keep mixing it until it comes together. Okay, and it should start looking just the way it is. Just like this. Very thick. Just like that. I'm going to give it a little bit more. And that's it. I'm going to transfer you over to the counter. We're going to start piping the churros. Okay, now we have a large piping bag and a star tip. I will leave all this link below, guys. And we'll put our dough in here. Okay, get this out of the way. Now on our trays, what I do is I get these uh, cookie tray and a parchment paper. And we are going to pipe our churros on here. And with these, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them in half. Just like that. And these are going to go into the freezer. And we're going to move on to the next shape. Okay, and the next shape that I'm going to use and you don't have to do this you can do them all the same into the little straws if you like I just like to change it up a little bit and that's it that poured everything out and then I make them into these little circles like that just to give a contrast on the serving plate okay I'm going to pop these in the freezer and we'll be back when it's time to fry them Okay, our churros are out of the freezer. I have them here. As you can see, they feel solid. And we're going to start frying them. I have a cast iron skillet with about two inches of oil. I have medium heat on there. We're going to start putting in the churros. You don't want them to cook too fast because you want the inside to cook. 
as well. The fire is too hot, the outside will crisp up, but not the inside. Okay, and this one's done. All you want is a light golden color, just like that. We're gonna pop it onto this cooling rack over here so that it can drip any grease. And then we are gonna put it into our cinnamon sugar combination that I have over here because you don't want them to get cold. You want them to stay a little warm so that the sugar uh, cinnamon combination will adhere to the churro. Okay, and then we put some more in there. And then we start dipping our churros over here. And they look just like that. I hope you can see that. And keep them separated so that they don't get soggy. And we just keep going. Okay, now we are going to move on to the little circles that we made. And it's the same steps. Okay guys, here are the churros after we fried everything up. And all I do is put them on a little cutting board like this or you can put them on a little platter. Put a little bit of chocolate sauce or some caramel sauce and they are delicious. Okay guys, let's go ahead and take a bite. Mmm. Very, very good, very crunchy, thoroughly cooked on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. And the little rivets there, they pick up the cinnamon sugar that you roll these in. You can also roll these in powdered sugar if you like. These are very good, guys. I hope you give them a try. It's a, a yearly tradition here at my house to have these churros for the holidays, whether it be Thanksgiving or Christmas. So I hope you give it a try. If you have any questions about the dough or anything, leave it in the comments below and I will get back with you. And of course, everything will be in the description bar. And don't forget to go follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we will talk to you later. Bye. Mm-hmm.